Lexi's little girl was born early hours of Friday morning. There she is, just got the one little tiny thing that she is. Having a feed. And there's mum having a cuddle with mummy. <laughs> me? She's still getting used to bub, so she wants to be with me. She also needs to be with bub, so we're all sitting here on the couch just for today until she gets used to being staying with her baby. And then uh, she'll take over. Look at that. Can't see, can't hear, can't shiver for the first two weeks of life. So we have to look after her very carefully, don't we, Lexi? Yes, we do. You're a good mummy, though, aren't you? Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to do two flip cup pour today, and as promised, I'm going to trial the coconut milk hair serum. Now, don't go to the grocery store in the Asian section and get coconut milk, it's not the right thing. This is for hair. Um, the main ingredient on the back is dimethicone. So look for that. It's the first ingredient. Okay, and it smells yummy. But because it's this pump action thing here, I'm not going to pump, um, you can't really get like two drops out. So I pour some into just this little bottle with a nozzle on it, and then I can easily just drip two drops in. So that's what I'm going to do today, use the coconut milk hair serum. Um, I've just got the four colours here. Uh, it's 400 grams of paint for this 8 by 10 is it 8 by 10 or is it 10 by 12? Oh, I can never remember. It is 10 by 12, 25 by 30 centimetres. Yes. Uh, so for that size, 400 grams of mixed paint should be fine. So I just thought I'd do 50 grams of pouring medium, 50 grams of paint. That's 100 grams times four cups is 400 grams. Easy peasy. And they're all the uh, Montmartre Studio acrylics today. I've got the phthalo blue, the turquoise and the orange and, of course, white. Righto, let's get to this, hey? Oh, it smells so good. Uh, now, it's pretty thick. I think I'm only going to do two drops. Oh no, let's do three. I always do three um, in three ounces, so we'll do three, hey? See what happens. And you actually have to squeeze the bottle a little bit. I mean, you wouldn't do that with your um, silicone oil because it's much thinner. So if you squeezed it, you could probably get 20 drops out, but you can actually give this a little bit of a squeeze um, and get those drops to come out. Now I'll stir it really well again. I used to use this oh, three years ago when I started pouring, I used coconut milk hair serum. And then I changed over to the silicone oil. I just found it gave better cells. But I was using a different brand of paint then. So we'll just revisit the old coconut milk hair serum and see what happens. Because it's easily obtained in Australia. Most of the supermarkets have it. The treadmill silicone oil I have to buy in from overseas and it's quite expensive. It's about $65 a bottle to get it into the country as well. So the cost of the bottle plus the postage, that's $65, I think. All right, let's move that over. Let me get my gloves on. And we'll get to layering. Probably three or three or four layers. Not sure how many will go, but we'll just see what happens. And the blue. Give it a nice covering. You don't really want to see the other colour underneath. So 
a nice layer and by ziggy zagging it like this it just sort of sits it on top rather than pours straight in because you kind of want them to sit on top and get your layers of colour. Um, I'm hoping these colours are enough because normally I would use you know five or six colours but because it's only a little canvas I didn't want to make up five or six colours then I'd be having like 30 grams of pouring medium like one ounce and one ounce of paint so I just thought I'll just do four that way I can make up a decent amount of paint looks like I'm going to go for three layers not much left in the cups now hopefully I won't get mud from these colors because even though orange and turquoise go really nice together they can go a little bit muddy so hopefully my mix is not too thin and I won't get too much mud it's my usual consistency you no know, little mound on a mound when you do a ribbon like that on top of the paint it stays for about two to three seconds before it vanishes and if you pick up a big scoop of paint like that and hold the stick straight down and count six seconds that's usually when the stream breaks at six seconds and then I know I've got my consistency right so a couple of different ways that I, I look at it and feel to see if it's the same consistency because different colors are a little bit different too in the same brands and one color might be quite thick and you might have to add pouring medium like the browns oh the browns always give me grief I always have to add pouring medium to the browns they're always a really thick paint and there's not much left of this turquoise scrape it all out see last time I did I think 500 grams of mixed paint on this size canvas and it was just too much I couldn't stretch everything properly because I'd already covered the whole surface when I flipped the cup over so there wasn't any room for stretching unless I was going to tip a lot of paint off which I didn't want to do so I'll just use a bit less paint and see how we go this time that way I can, you know, stretch it. Because that's how you get your cells big, isn't it? Stretching it. I wonder if the paint smells any different with the coconut milk hair serum in it. <laughs> I don't know that you can smell it. With just a couple of drops in. Okay, um, now I think what I'm going to do is, instead of doing flip and drags, I'm just going to flip out. Always make sure you flip out, not in, because then your, your dregs, like your messy edges, will be um, on the outside and you can tip them off. Right, let's give that a minute. Oh, this is exciting. It's been so long since I've used this. hope it turns out nicely, though. Otherwise, it's, you know, it's always nice to have a a painting that works don't want it to be scraped <laughs> all right let's do this um, this one I'm gonna flip over that way and then I'm gonna have to turn it around and do it that way because I can't flip left-handed all right let's go I'll just take that over to the corner a little bit hopefully it's not too muddy see the orange and the turquoise sort of go a little bit brownish wasn't a very good flip I'm afraid All right, don't put what's in the cup back on your canvas like don't be tempted to put it back in there okay because it's muddy now okay and I am going to what am I going to do what am I going to do I think I'll just see if I can cover a little bit first see because I flipped that way I haven't got strappies down the center to um to worry about keeping in line. Oh, look at the mess I'm making. All right, let's torch and see the magic happen. Woo, 
otro es eh, Woman. How's that looking? Is that enough? shouldn't have done that last one I just went like that oh my gosh no I shouldn't have done that um righto still a big bubble there um now I'm closest to the edge over here so let's do this side first I use my little corner catcher and I'll just walk the paint as I always do walk it back around here we need to walk it again if we can come back okay it's a big bubble Oop. now I think while I've got the weight of the paint down here, I'll take a little bit of that orange off just there. And a little bit of this down the bottom, that's Cell City, where I torched a bit close. I think. And always remember to zigzag your canvas. Actually really surprised you guys those cells are amazing anyway let's let's finish tilting and see what happens still got quite a bit of space to cover hopefully I haven't shortchanged myself by not having as much paint as I would normally have for this size Okay, the um, orange and the turquoise have gone a bit muddy brown, as I said they would. I don't know why I use those colours. They're, they're tricky. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work. So I'm going to torch a little bit in some of these blank areas and get some more cells up and then just torch, uh, tilt a little bit just to open them up a touch. quite reactive. I don't know that it's more reactive, but it's reactive. Oh, okay, I got too close. <laughs> Story of my life, getting too close with the torch. Righto, now I just want to just open them up a touch. So, not necessarily going to take any paint off, but just move the paint around, open them up a little bit. Okay. Well, I am pleasantly surprised actually. Not with the colours, of course. <laughs> but wow, this the the cells and the brightness of the rings around the cells. I'm gonna have to do another another one in my favourite blues and greens um, and testing this. Um I guess like when I started, when I when I started pouring and I was using this, I was using Floetrol, admittedly. I was using Floetrol when I started. Um, and maybe it was more so the, the Floetrol that was not giving, you know, great cells rather than the 
coconut milk hair serum. Hmm. More experimentation is required. But look at the definition of those cells. The rings around them. Those are the little ones that I torched afterwards to get those little guys up. Um, there's a few little blobby cells, arc cells inside cells. It's a little caterpillar, but I got too close. So I don't know whether that's those ones on top of each other are uh, because I torched afterwards, so I get cells on top of cells. May be the case, but oh, I'm just amazed by the colours. Wow. And yes, the background is a little bit um, muddy. But we've got rings inside rings. Look at that. How many colours have we got there on those? We've got turquoise on the outside. Or is that blue on the outside? Then we've got white. Then we've got orange. Actually, it must be blue. Then we've got white. Then we've got orange. We've got turquoise in the middle. Same with these blue ones. I mean, they're a bit overstretched. We needed to have a little bit more paint, but look at all the rings. Blue, white, orange, blue, four. Four rings. I'm really impressed. Go, you coconut milk hair serum. You good thing. So, yeah, a little bit muddy there on the background. Oh, look, there's a face. That. A little cute face. <laughs> the things we see in our paws. All right, so um, for the first paw in a few years using coconut milk hair serum, I am pleasantly surprised. I'm going to mix up some more paint. I'm going to do my blues and greens and have another go. All right. Oops, someone's ringing me. Close. Oh, can't get rid of it. All right, I'll see you all later. See you soon for the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.